Hi everyone, here's a cute ladybug tutorial for you. I would rate this as an easy skill level. You'll find a link in the description to a Pinterest page where you can download uh, and print out your own image. I will put all the measurements that you'll need um, to lay this out on your paper or canvas in the description as well. Basically, you're gonna be finding the middle of your paper or canvas, drawing a sort of an egg shape, um, using those measurements and I will describe how to divide up that egg shape into the head of the ladybug, the body of the ladybug, and uh, the thorax, which is in between the body and the uh, head. So I'll show you uh, how to, I wanted to draw, you know, show a drawing of this um, to show where to position the the eyes, the antenna, the legs, um, and just a quick little sketch to show you how I lay everything out um, in a drawing such as this or what will be a, a painting eventually. Um, it's just I think it always helps to have a visual of um, how to begin a drawing yourself um, and I what I'm doing now, um, as far as the painting, um, there's about eight colors in this um, ladybug. Uh, what I'm using now is a permanent red, and um, around the out, outer edges of the main shell, uh, the body of the ladybug. And then I'm going to be using uh, a vermilion, which is a bright orange, in the center of that. Um, now I'm laying in the head and the uh, thorax, which is just basically black right now. So what I'm doing is just basing in, blocking in those um, areas of the ladybug. And then the um, I'm using a little bit of uh, titanium white and the black to make a gray. Um, and you'll see I'll go back and add more shadow in, more shading and highlighting. This is a little bit darker of a mixture of the permanent red and um, some black. And that just helps to make the, your ladybug body, you know, have a 3D image. Um, makes that flat egg shape have some dimension and shape. Um, and so, again, darker around the edges, lighter um, towards the middle and the part where the light would be hitting the body of that ladybug. Um, and so there'd be, you know, light bouncing off of that, reflecting off of that area. So again, um, I'm using a little bit more of a yellow added into the uh, vermilion. And I'm going to have to let that dry down a little bit um, because the paint was just too wet to work with. Um, so I began laying in the, the legs, which are just based in black. Um, and what I do with the legs is I add a little bit of um, a gray and a little bit of the burnt umber. So in between the shells there, you can see I just added a little bit of um, a, a black in between there to define the shells, the two portions of the shells. And um, the eyes are based in the burnt umber. And um, now there's two little spots of yellow and white on the head of the ladybug. And then also on the thorax, portion of the body, you'll see I'll add that also. And I did a little bit of a gray outline around the outer edge of that um, thorax, uh, just to, again, to sort of give you that illusion um, of dimension. Now, we're not going for an exact replica of a ladybug. This will just give you, this would be a cute little piece of art to hang on your wall um, if you want to give it a try. Uh, I think it's, it's not exact, the legs are not exact, but it gives you a cute little ladybug. Uh, and a nice piece of art. So this little guy has little, you know, the black spots on his shell. They don't have to be exact. They don't have to, they usually do tend to be somewhat symmetrical um, across from each other, but you can make them any shape you want. You could add more if you'd like to add more uh, spots to this little ladybug. Make it yours. And I did do a little bit of really simple, uh, vining I would say a little twig stem vining um, based in the um, a burnt umber um, with a little bit of green leaves and we'll add that at the end so again I'm just adding more of the vermilion and really making that top portion of the the shell pop with 
um, more and more yellow added into the vermilion and even a little bit of um, titanium white added into that to make a really bright light orange. Um, and then what I'm doing now is to make it look like there's even more shadow or excuse me, more light bouncing off of the top of that um, ladybug shell. And I mixed in a little bit of a titanium white with the, ver the um, permanent red to make sort of like a pink. So there's a pink shade on the top of there. Um, and uh, then there's yellow mixed with the vermilion. So it's a little, it's not a solid red or a solid orange. It has a little bit of all of that in the shell. So here I'm doing the vine. Um, like I said, it was uh, the leaves are in uh, light olive green and a chrome oxide green. You just start with the chrome oxide green and then lighten the leaves in a little bit of spots with a light olive green and then the stems are burnt umber. So this is just a really simple, fun, little, um, little ladybug painting. I hope you give it a try and let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section. And thank you so much. Uh, if you like this, please like and subscribe for more content and I'll be adding more videos soon. Thanks so much.